everything you did yesterday, do today, and is going to do tomorrow is more likely to fail than to succeed. Success is far beyond what a man routinely achieves. I often reminisce about the times we were taught about successful people. Bill Gates, once the richest man in the world. Isaac Newton, a well-respected scientist. Kevin Hart, a funny comedian. And we can't forget Chris Anderson, the founder of TED. We see that success is within the reach of humanity. Therefore, we often think that we can be successful. But the hidden and depressing truth is that we usually can't. There are many factors that limit your success. Time. Time limits your ability to be successful. We often think of time as it is unlimited. We always have time. Like, and we, therefore, we often waste time like this. But time, time is so valuable to the extent that its value is indefinable. Paul Bow, the author of The Sheltering Sky, once asked, how many more times will you watch the sunset? Actually, watching the sun as it disappears down the horizon. A couple? The problem is that we can't control time, and we don't even know that time limits our success. Yet, time kills our ability to be successful. But first, what defines success? Wealth? Happiness? Let's begin with wealth, because wealth is the key to our survival. The world is on a trend where the majority of the population is getting poorer. In other terms, you all are getting poorer every single day. This is due to population growth, lack of resource, and wealth inequality. When there is population growth, life becomes cheaper, and therefore your wealth becomes smaller. When there is lack of resource, your wealth becomes even smaller. And when there is also wealth inequality, your wealth becomes minuscule small. The simplest definition of modern-day wealth is that man is by nature getting poorer. And when people get poorer, it makes it more difficult to achieve what we want, what we define as a success. Because everything in the world has a price tag, we are moving forward to a trend where the majority of the population is striving for survival. It's a trend of failure that oppose your ability to be successful. So if, being, if you can't be prepared, happiness might be a line of success for you. But can happiness be considered a line of success? When was the last time you were happy? I know that this is a very peculiar question, but seriously, when? Was it when you were listening to my TED speech? Was it when I told you that you are more likely to fail than to succeed? If yes, I admire your respect for my speech. But happiness is not considered a success. It's something that you already possess every day. When people can't define their success, they often said that being born as a human is a success. Humans are getting very powerful very quickly. Humanity is a success. But it's not your success. You did not create the success. It's also something you possess, not achieve. I have been failing for my entire life. I still remember that I failed to answer a simple math question in my grade one exam. But when you think of exam, there are indefinite answers to a question, but there are only one correct answer. Yet, we are expected to be successful. We are expected to be able to answer that single one question. And when there is expectation, it becomes a standard, a standard of success, a standard that is more likely not to happen. Considering all the factors that limit your success, how many accomplishments have you made in your life? I'll say not a lot. 
No matter how hard you tried, you still failed. My speech isn't to make you feel bad. My speech is to tell you to be prepared. To be prepared for failure because it is more likely to happen. And whenever someone calls you a failure, you could tell them that it's normal. And even though you are more likely to fail, I strongly believe that success isn't far beyond what we can achieve. Thank you.